In this video, I'm going to show you my solution for a custom certificate of completion. Probably one of the most common requests I get from viewers is how to build a certificate of completion. And uh, especially for people who don't have learning management systems, it's a great way for you to generate something that a learner can print off or save as a PDF. And uh, my solution, I think, is pretty good. It starts off with an HTML file, which if you don't delete it, and if you follow the steps that I'm going to show you, um, this will actually package that HTML file with your e-learning course. Let me show you. Uh, the solution I've come up with works well whether you have a learning management system or whether you don't. And of course, you always have the option to print the certificate as a PDF file rather than printing it as well. So here's what I've come up with. I've created a very simple HTML file. Um, it just sim simply says, congratulations, you've successfully completed the office oriented cor course, shows the date. So there's today's date. And then we ask learners to fill out their name like this. And they can either print a copy of this form by control P or they can save it uh, you know, to their computer and, and pull it up later if they wish. So very simple. And what we need to do is make that available to learners who've successfully completed their course here. So let's go to our project here. Now at the end of your project, of course, you've got your quiz results slide. And what I like to do is move my continue button into the scrap area and create my own continue button, which I'll just do right now real quick. And we'll just select the same object style for that particular item. And I'll just simply call this continue. Okay. Now in this case here, we want to make that not visible in output and we'll just call this custom continue because by the way continue is a reserved word you can't name your objects continue and the action for this we'll set this up to be used as a button the action for this will be to open url or file and we'll navigate to where we've saved our past.html file that's what i called it in this case here click on open and we're going to open that in the current window. So it's going to take things over. Now you need to write a little advanced action because as it stands right now, if this is shown to everyone who comes to this slide, everyone will have passed. So we want to only show it when learners have successfully completed this course. So on this slide, we're going to need to write an advanced action. It's very simple. We'll go into the project drop down menu, go into advanced actions, and we'll call this success underscore certificate or something like that. We'll make this a conditional advanced action. And we're going to say if the variable CP quiz info pass fail is equal to the literal value of one, we're going to show our custom continue. And uh, I'm not showing it by default, but if you wanted to just simply toggle between the two possibilities, we can copy this, paste it down here and change the else situation to hide custom continue. Okay, so let's save this as an action, click OK, click close, and make sure this action is run when we arrive on our results slide. So execute advanced actions, success certificate, and let's test it out and see if it works as expected. Okay, so let's purposely fail the course. First time here, I'm just going to put a wrong answer here submit 
we will choose again just wrong answers here and make sure that we fail the course Okay, so we arrive on the quiz results slide and I don't see a continue button. Let's retake the quiz and let's get it right this time. Ottawa, submit. Justin Trudeau is the correct answer for both of these questions. King Charles III is our current head of state of Canada. And we'll just choose the correct answers for this. And now we get our continue button. And of course, when we press the continue button, it takes us to our congratulations slide. And then of course, I have the option to fill this out and press control P and print this out to my printer. The nice thing about it is of course, being HTML, it's going to wrap the text and look pretty good on just about any printer. So you're good to go. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to provide lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.